Okay, so hello again. As you may see, I have a new solar charge controller, PWM, pretty generic, it's very generic in fact, and uh, it's advertised like uh, 10 amps. It's looking like this, so there is nothing there to change anything, like uh, floating uh, voltages or uh, absolutely nothing. So you just plug in and hope for good. <laughs> it's saying like uh, 10 amps capacity. It's charging the batteries. It's only for lead acid batteries. Of course, I think it can be used to have uh, AGM and sealed acid lead battery. And uh, the, it's advertised like it's uh, charging to 14.2 volts and then it's going to float. Uh, doesn't say anything in the, in the manual or there is no instruction, nothing, nothing at all. All I know about this, it's 10 amps and uh, it's charging to 14.2. That should be okay because 14.2 uh, it's almost at the top of the batteries. Okay, in the meantime, I uh, took this off and uh, you may see the same old story. 10 amps. Okay, so I'm really sure that this is a iron plate. Yes, it is. So this is iron and we got here three transistors or something anyway I don't know exactly what is here because I just open it up and I want to see what's behind this is the first time I am taking this off it's brand new I just bought it it's not a big hole in the budget, it's like maybe 20, almost 20 euros and there we are. Okay, so in the meantime I checked the board and I found some info about the semiconductors we got here. Down here on the left we have BCP55 and that's a very standard NPN transistor. Um, probably it's for connecting and disconnecting the street light. I'm happy for something because I found out this one up here, this here, it's a microprocessor and uh, it's uh, S033. So that's, that's a zero here, S033. And you'll have the details about uh, about this microprocessor. Anyway, it's an 8-bit microprocessor running on 16 megahertz, and it has some uh, memory inside, a prom memory inside. And as long as I can see here, we have some holes, and that I think that makes possible to to run a new firmware to this device. We have uh, this uh, LM358, 358. That's a classic uh, uh, dual operational circuit. And uh, as I know, they are usually used to work like comparators. Compares the voltage to, from the battery with the one uh, from the solar panel and the uh, stuff like this. I think this was a um, kind of uh, display before, it's not uh, in this model. And over here we have uh, just a DC to DC converter, a back converter, and it's working with XL1509. Mm, I don't know they are why they are still uh, doing this, having this 5 volts uh, ports over there. I suppose it's just for, for look, make it looking fancier, you know, connection to mobile phone or something, you know, it's looking good in the pictures. And behind here we have three MOSFETs, like I thought, there, these are MOSFETs. And I'm talking here about 
ATN NF17 and uh, I'm going to show you the details about this uh, anyway what I can say for now they are uh, pretty powerful 98 amps with a very very low uh, inside internal resistance and this kind of uh, MOSFET is called S-Trip FET uh, of course we have a very low resistance over here that's the current sensor and that's, this one is checking the current all the time it keeps it in certain values that's it for now all I have to do now is to put it to work I don't have the sunshine here anymore but I'll do the tests in uh, full sunshine with uh, maybe 150 200 watts panel I'm not sure I have to see how it's handling the things but what I want to do most thing most of all is to have a better a better uh, heat sink like I did with the others you know this kind of heat sink and uh, because because like I said this is iron and not not only the problem it's also this is paint with a kind of plastic paint anyway it's it's uh, it's a really crazy paint so it keeps the heat inside here and this is really really dangerous finally a little bit of sunshine and now I can test uh, the new solar charge controller like I told you is the cheapest one I could find uh, not more than 20 euros or something in the shop and uh, now I'm charging with 17.4 amps I have like uh, 350 watts of panels on as far I can say that it's running marvelous but you see I have some modification here first of all I put there an aluminum sink instead of the iron piece I just boiled it uh, from a piece of uh, from a piece of aluminum like this you see it's like two millimeters thick and uh, it, this will offer a much much better thermic transfer of course I'm gonna have a proper uh, sink here but for now I just put what I had around and uh, let me measure some temperatures so we are charging with 17.5 amps and we have like 24 degrees 31 here yeah that's the area with the MOSFETs 28 and I have to tell you something else I doubled the MOSFET in, in there and I'll show you later how I did it anyway it's dealing with 17.5 amps very very nice and uh, relaxed and easy let me check with my amp meter so this is from the panel 18.5 let's measure the minus 17.8 yeah it's almost like uh, the ammeter and now let me see the current going to the batteries these are my batteries here come on so we have 16 amps going to the batteries and if you count if you count that now I'm having two amps going out to the load I'm pretty satisfied with this setup and I have to wait until the until the voltage will go up to normal now we have 13.54 or four or five volts 13.5 volts almost in the batteries and we watch the temperature here 17.6 17 amps 
and I think I'm gonna plug in some more panels. Let me see what's happening. Anyway, with the MOSFETs I uh, put on and doubled, of course, I think it can handle 40 amps. Okay, so now I plugged in another 350 watts of, uh, of panels and uh, charging current went up to 24, 25 amps. The battery it's going to 13.92 volts for now. And uh, let me see the temperature. Well, it's getting a little bit hot, but it's nothing to scare. There's nothing to be scared about. Let's see. 45 here. 40. Well, it's like 45 the maximum, but we have 25 amps going in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna starting this little fan here to give a little bit of uh, help. Okay, so there we are, the fan is on. And now we have like, it was almost 51 I measured before, 48 here. 40, 45, anyway it was like 51, just a second before, and uh, I have to attach the, the sensor, and I'm gonna use a little bit of tape, that's the sensor here, and I put the sensor down behind here, with a little bit of tape, uh, it's getting pretty hot, but this will change in a, in a few minutes. And the fan is working perfect. It's looking like this. Let's check the temperature. So we have 24 amps now charging, you see that? Thirty-three degrees, thirty-five, forty-one here, forty-four, forty, forty-eight. Well, oh, that's nothing. It's it's pretty okay. It's really good. Okay, so the fan is working now. Let's check the temperature again. Twenty-five, twenty-nine. 35 degrees here 31 39 in this point here It's because of the label I suppose okay, and we have 13.86 volts 84 23 amps now I have to wait until the the battery will have the proper voltage. Okay, so um, we have more than one hour of working. Everything is smooth here. Now what I want to do is to open it up, you know, the back plate, and to show you what I have done inside there. So I may say this uh, modification it's damn great. It's it's really nice. I mean, it's working perfectly. Okay, so there we are. You see, what I have done, I doubled the MOSFETs, and this is uh, a, I think it's 80FN or NF8070 something. I'll show you, I'll put it uh, a photo with the characteristic of the MOSFET. Over there on the right, I get rid of one um, MOSFET who supposed to control the load. I don't need any load because my load is directly tied to the batteries. The first power measurement uh, one and a half hours it's 266 watts hour in. I'm uh, more than satisfied 
the amps are going down now because the the sun uh, the sky is not so clear anymore uh, it's getting cloudy but I still have 7.1 amps and the charger it's absolutely okay so now uh, the charger it's on uh, float mode it's just supplying uh, the top of the charging as soon as it was a 14.2 peak uh, it went back to float and now we had 13.9 volts and around and this is really really great because it keeps the batteries in a in a proper uh, charging condition and you know this is special here because I'm not cycling the batteries I mean I have always a load a kind of daily six seven hundred watts uh, and the batteries are around 250 amp hour so it's pretty powerful and that's it for now I may say better uh, heat sink and we are in the business so now I'm pretty sure this one is working with 20 amps without no glitch if you have any comments or uh, questions please don't hesitate to write them down I'll answer as soon as possible amazing it's cheap but with a little bit of tweaking until now it's doing a great job we'll see in a couple of months what's happening okay some uh, final remarks now the battery is charged so I have let's say in three hours and 20 minutes 461 watt hour in and uh, Wish you well and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.